Hi guys, so welcome back to my channel, Adiatu here, Naturally Ads on YouTube. So in today's video, I'm planning for the week beginning February 21st to the 27th, aka basically the last week of February, and the last baby spread, which I'm sad about. I loved doing these spreads so much, I went out for all of them. So this week I'm using the kit called Little Love from Glam Planner. This was the kit that she made for her baby's birth, I believe, yeah. I paired it with sparkly rose gold foil from the planet pixie co i love randy's foil so much so i used it a lot this year well actually those other ones were last year but i used it a lot for the baby related stuff i loved it so sparkly rose gold is one of my favorite rose, um foil colors i used a lot of underlay so i had to get some extra ones but that's okay um once again i added some pictures into this spread by only a few of my baby and my husband and my post my post birth selfie um i am going to answer a question like i did previously but i didn't do last week because that was the birth week so um, if you haven't already make sure you subscribe to my channel before you leave and turn on the bell to be notified every single time i upload so the question that i last left off on was um what is hard about being a parent i think this um spread is the best spread to answer this question on because this was my first full week of being a mother and it was a tough one but as i said in the last video or the pre not the last one the one before that one of the hardest things i struggled with with becoming a parent was a lack of sleep and suddenly not having as much free time as I was used to um of course you prepare yourself for that but you can never be fully prepared until you're actually in the situation so I struggled a lot with being tired and the first couple of days learning what his cries meant and what he needed and what he liked and how he fared because ideally you're supposed to feed on like a two hour interval but he did not feed at that time he fed like in the hospital he didn't want to wake up but as soon as we got home he wanted to eat like all the time which i didn't i wasn't like listening to him i was listening to what the doctors were telling me like oh just every two hours so then i started to listen to his cries for when he wanted to food if it wanted to feed and then started feeding him on demand and then my life became easier but that was that was the biggest issue now i'm kind of used to not having sleeps five months down the line but i think for now that is the hardest thing i've experienced in parenthood the tiredness and not having as much free time for yourself and i know for a fact that i did let myself go a bit not body wise but just like with my skin I wasn't really taking care of my skin, I wasn't doing anything that I used to like to do for myself, I wasn't eating as much, and obviously you have to eat when you have a baby, so those were the things I would say I kind of dropped the ball on, but other than that, it has been a great experience. So the next question was, how many countries have you visited? Ooh. Let's see. Saudi, so I've gone to Sierra Leone, Saudi Arabia, New York, um, Dubai, Abu Dhabi, France, Belgium, Spain, Germany, hmm, anywhere else? I've been to Maryland, I guess different different states in America count as different countries I guess. Uh, where else have I been to? I think 10. Is where I'm going to stop. I don't think there's any more because I've been to multiple countries multiple times. But now it's ten. Sorry, I had to cough. Um, the next question is, what was your favorite slash worst subject in high school or secondary school here in the UK? My favorite was maths because it was the easiest for me because. <clears throat> I just got it so it wasn't as hard for me and my least favorite was citizenship because I hated the teacher 
I didn't really want to do it. I was kind of forced to do it. So I would say that. Okay, let's go to the day by day. <clears throat> On the sidebar, I noted my first week of maternity leave with this sticker from Bella Plan Ella and a one week week one sticker from PMD Stickers. I then noted that my baby was one month with this Teddy Plans Co. Um, baby with the M that I got and Malik is custom script that I also got from Adobe Game Designs. Okay. <clears throat> On to the day by day. On to Monday the 21st, I used the camera icon from the kit to note that I took we took a bunch of pictures of the baby we were still in the hospital. Um, I know it'd been tired with this sleep mask sticker from the kit and a tired AF script from sugar box stickers. <coughs> I noted feeling super sore with this backache sticker from the Windsor Cat Studio and then I noted taking another bath in the hospital with a bath sticker from the foil bundle and a bath time script from the, from, what's it called? Planet Hannah. Into the extender I used a take out bag sticker from Carly Plans and I ordered take out script from Sugarbox stickers to note we ordered take out to the hospital because the food that they were giving me was gross. I then noted not being able to eat it anyways because my appetite was quite low with this side eye girl from um, Stick With Planko. I then used this um, fork and knife sticker from Carly Plant to note that my mum cooked some food for me and I ate that. I then used another um, paper shower doctor sticker to note that um, the midwives were from Sierra Leone and felt like a lot com more comfortable with them and one of them I knew. Next I used this diaper sticker from PMD stickers to note that he had his first wet nappy because he had pooped in the night but he hadn't, well there was no blue line indicator so I assumed he hadn't weed yet until then. And then used this um, crib sticker from PMD stickers and a no sleep custom script from the Planet Pixico to note that he didn't really sleep very well. I then used the Stick with the Planko Rough Night Girl from, oh, well, yeah, Stick with the Planko, and a Malik Fussy custom script from TD Journals to note that he was really fussy that night. On to Tuesday, I noted being super tired, as you can imagine, with this bed sticker from Carly Plants and a tired AF <coughs> script from Sugarbox Stickers. I note that he was latching well with this breastfeeding sticker from Stick with the Planko. I used this hospital like first aid bag sticker from the kit to note that we were still in the hospital. I noted um, uh, Malik going for his baby check with this sticker from Papershire. I noted me getting some blood work done with a um, Papershire checkup sticker. I noted a family cuddle sesh with the custom script from Mick Plans and a custom character sticker from Teddy Jern Teddy Plans Co. I think it's called. Then there was a plan with me being in the hospital because I took my iPad. We did planner icon from the foil bundle and a binge watch script from um what's it called? Sugar box stickers. I don't know why I cannot get her name right. Down in the extender, I noted that we were finally discharged with a balloon sticker from the kit. <coughs> I used this car seat sticker from um, Planner Face, no, Paper Shire, to know that it was Malik's first time in the car. Uh, I then used a house icon from the kit and a welcome home script from SBC to know that we finally went home. I used a takeout bag from the from Cardi Plans and an order takeout script from Sugar Box Stickers to note that we ordered some Chinese. That was my request. I then used this crib sticker from PMD Stickers to note that my husband had set up the crib because we didn't have time to do so beforehand because we were meant to do it the day he was born, but he was born early. I then used this Teddy Plans Co. Um, girl cuddling to note that I had some cuddles with Malik. The cuddle Malik is a custom script from Tilly Journals. And then I used another Sigrid Planko sticker to note that Malik was fussy again this night using a Malik Fussy custom script also from Tilly Journals. <coughs> One, two, witness day. So, at the top of the extender in Wednesday, I used a Sweet Quiet Design bottle sticker um, to note that 
my milk came in or it seemed like my milk came in this day um i use a house um, sticker from carly plants in it that there was mortgage drama which there always is i'm tired of it i just want to move i then use a laptop icon from the free bundle to note that um i had to sort out my online banking and um, i then use these pillows and pillows these slipper stickers from carly plants and a tie they have script from sugar box stickers to note being super tired I noted um, Malik and his dad cuddling with this cup, not couple, this dad and kid sticker from the PMD stickers and a Daddy Snuggles custom script from Cardi Plants. I noted that he was eating loads with this um, Sacred Van Gogh breastfeeding sticker. I then noted that I pumped for the first time with my hacker with this pumping sticker from Paper Child. Not much came out there. Um, I used this planner sticker from Olive Studio and a binge watch script from Sugarbox stickers to note a plan with me binge. I noted snuggling with my baby in the um, living room with this Benevis, Benevis creation sticker and a mummy snuggle script, custom script from what's it called? Harley Plans. Sorry. I to, well, I've been doing lots of voiceovers today. That's my excuse. I then noted um, the midwife came for a home visit with this um, like doctor sticker from PMD stickers. I then noted that my baby had a big poop, vomit and pee blowout on his dad with this poop sticker from Once More of Love and a With Papa custom script from Tilly Journals. So you would like him to call us, call him Papa and me Mama which is why the custom scripts I got say mum and papa, but some say mum and dad, but yeah. Then noted um, his, my sister-in-law came over and met him with this pig, like big pig and little pig sticker from Make Plans, and with my aunt script from Planner Hannah. I then noted I was feeling really achy with this ache, like backache sticker for What's More of Love. And then I noted that there was no sleep this night again, with this baby friend a tantrum sticker from What's My Love and I can't sleep script from Tilly Channels. It was a rough couple of days, four months to be honest. On to the Thursday, I noted that um, in the middle of the night, or early in the mornings, he and my mum came and got him, or well, we both went into her room uh, with this vanilla grandma sticker and I used a custom with grandma M sticker from Tilly Journals to note that. M stands for my mum's name and then the F stands for his mum's name if you later on we'll see with grandma F. I then noted that I pumped, no it wooded my electric pump with this pump sticker from Plan of Face. Why do I keep saying Plan of Face for paper shy? Goodness gracious me at you. I then used this crib sticker from PMD stickers to note that he finally slept at like 4 5 a.m. And I noted having some really bad cramps with this cramp sticker from um, Joy of Planning because I was obviously bleeding at this point. Then noted being a bit moody, obviously, you can imagine the lack of sleep with this girl from Joy of Planning and a moody madam custom script from Adore of the Amy Designs. I noted um, doing some memory planning with this TN sticker from Paper Candy Art and a memory plan script from Planner Face. I noted um, FaceTiming with my dad with this FaceTime sticker from the Worms of Cat Studio and a with Grandpa script from Planner Hannah. I noted um, Malik being fussy with the Malik Fussy custom script from Tilly Journals and a baby crying sticker from um, Glam Hannah. Speaking of Malik, he's now awake. Let's quickly finish this day. I then used this breastfeeding sticker from What's More Lab to note that he was drinking all of my milk. I used this sticker from Plan Face to note another plan with me binge. I used the binge watch script from um, Sugarbox stickers. I then used this stick with a plan called Cuddle sticker and a Mummy Snuggle custom script from Carly Plan to note that. And I'll be back in a second to continue. Okay, next I marked uh, Malik sleeping in his nest with this sticker from Benevis Creation. Then use a 
washing machine from the foil bundle and the laundry script from Rani Dot Plans to not do some laundry. I used another PMB sticker, um, dad and baby sticker to not um, Malik snuggling with his dad. The daddy snuggle script is from Carly Plans. And then I used a um, vanilla in a bath sticker and a first bath script from the what is it called? Adobe Amy Designs like baby milestone sheet to note he had his first like little bath from me and his dad. Moving on to Friday, at the top of Friday, I noted Malik being really hungry with this breastfeeding sticker from What's My Love. Noted being super tired with a pillow sticker from Carly Plans and a tired AF script from Sugarbox stickers. I used this grandma sticker from Paper Shadow to note that Malik was with my mum. The with grandma M is a custom script from Tilly Journals. I then noted him being fussy again with a crying sticker from the Whimsical Cat Studio and a Malik fussy custom script from Tilly Journals. Next I noted having a midwife appointment or yeah a midwife appointment with this appointment sticker from PMD stickers and appointment script from the foil bundle. I noted that my BP was still high with this BP sticker from Paper Shire. And I then noted that Malik had his first blood test with these blood um, tubes from Paper Shire and a custom Malik script from what's it called? I forgot what it's called. Randy Dot Plants. I noted that he lost a lot of a lot more weight than he should have with um, the scale sticker from the kit. Um, I noted being in my feelings about that with this crying sticker from Olive Studio and an in my field script from Pay Planner Face. I used a planner from Paper Shire and a binge watch script from Sugarbox stickers to know a plan with me binge. I noted feeling like weak and stuff with this like chronic pain sticker from Paper Shire. I then noted um, pumping all day um, with this pump sticker from Paper Shire again. I noted that my cousin came over with this pig and like little pig sticker from plans to note that my um, cousin came over and I use a with my aunt script to note that because she is considered as Malik's auntie. Then use this crib sticker for PMD stickers to note that it was a better night this day. On to Saturday I have like a half box extender at the top and the full box so at the top of that I noted feeling sick with this nauseous girl sticker from the ones of Cat Studio then noted that Malik was also feeling sick, clearly, with this vomiting baby sticker from Paper Shire and a Malik script from Randy Up Plants. I noted that my husband's mum came over and finally met Malik with this another grandma sticker from Paper Shire and a custom with Grandma F script from Tilly Journals. Um, I noted working up early with alarm clock from Temple Loves Crafts and up early script from Planner Hannah. I noted another midwife appointment with a baby appointment sticker from PMD stickers and a midwife appointment custom script from Maddy Dot Plants. I noted that he had already gained 9.4% of his weight back in like the 24 hours with a scale sticker from the Crafty Planner, which I was really happy about. I used a spray bottle sticker, I think it's from a paper candy art leftover, and a clean script from the foil bundle to note that we did some cleaning. I used this um, fork and knife sticker from Carly Plant to note that we got lots of food gifts this day. I noticed cuddling up with my husband with this I love you Polaroid sticker from PMD stickers and a cuddle up script from Adobe and Designs. I used this milk, milk bottle sticker from Sweet Quiet Designs to note that I had lots of milk coming in. Um, I then used this crib sticker from PMD stickers to note that Malik had a good sleep this day. I kind of marked everything out of order because of all the extenders. I also marked Malik having a bath with his mum, with his grandma, giving him like a Nigerian African bath with a baby in a bath sticker from Paper Show and a bath term script from Planner Hannah. I noted being my feelings again. You know, my hormones are all over the place in this time. With another Olive Studio crying sticker and in my field script from Planner Face. I use a expl expl exclamation mark sticker from the kit and a family time script from the foyer bundle to note that 
lots of family came over. On to Sunday, Mark's waking up early again with the alarm clock icon from the foil bundle and an up early script from Tana Hannah. I noted getting ready with this sticker from Value and Tomorrow. I used this Dua Girl from the Modest Cat, I think, but it's no longer open or she's like rebranded to note that it was his seven days, so I am Muslim, so after seven days the baby needs to be named and stuff needs to be done. And then we used this present icon from the foil bundle to note that he was named and we did it in the UK and also did it in um, back home in Sierra Leone. We used a um, camera icon from Paper Candy Art sticker to note that my dad sent lots of pictures of all the stuff going on in Sierra Leone. In the extender I noted being moody with a side eye girl from Sick of the Planker and a moody madam script from uh, Dora B. Amy Designs. I noted more family visits with a heart icon from the kit and a family time script from Make Plans. I noted getting some takeout with a fork and knife sticker from Carly Plans and then I noted doing lots of pumping with this pump sticker for Paper Shire. Um, my midwife basically told me to pump loads as well as feed him so that I would breastfeed him and then pump and um, give him the bottle straight after just to make sure he was gaining the weight which worked. I then marked um, getting food for my cousin with a takeout bag from Carly Plans. I noted watching Bel Air with a TV icon from the foil bundle. I noted going to bed early with a um, clock icon from the kit and a bed early script from Carly Plans. Then I noted a family culture session with this um, family sticker from Sticker de Planco and a family culture sesh custom script from Make Plans.